Hey guys, welcome back to the Weasel Zone. <laughs> Actually, Lazy Weasel, this is, this is not Weasel Zone. Bosh Bosh! Happy dog! We actually did a um, escape room today in Baltimore, that was fun. Did you, did you miss us? Oh, you missed us. Very good. We should have vlogged that. We should have totally vlogged that, actually. I don't know if you're allowed to. If you're allowed, I, I guess, why not? Anyways, was it was, was a good time? Good time, definitely want to do that again. But I company sent me things. They, they asked if I wanted to check it out. I'm like, hey, free shit? Yeah, send it my way, P.O. Box. So they sent me this stick thing. I got like two of those. And basically what they are, it's caffeine from green beans and you mix it in your water. So let's get that out of the way. Blatant product advertisement. Anyways, this is these are these sticks here. Hey, buddy. And I'm going to put them in the water bottle, which I... I'm not gonna cover up the logo because I'm lazy and I don't see a reason. Oh no, there's a product logo in this video. They're all gonna buy this water bottle now. Please sponsor me. I don't even know what that is. Peel this off and then you stir it into your bottle or glass or whatever. Oh, fascinating. Oh, this is, oh, this is gonna, great, it's everywhere. Yeah, that, that's why you do it over it. Oh good, oh, oh good, it's stuck. Ah. So you got, I don't know if you can see this. There's a whole lot of little holes in there. And you just basically put it in here and then stir it around. Oh, I fell in. It's definitely not made for bottles. You know, that's that's why I got aquarium gear. Yeah, there you go. It's just a powder. It's a stick with powder in it and you, you stir it in your water and then you have a caffeinated beverage. Cool, that probably went on for like two minutes. All I got was a stick with caffeine that I could mix in my bottle. I don't know why you guys keep watching this. Uh, how's my fuzzball? How's fuzzball? Fuzzball. How's fuzzball? Marble fuzzball. All right, I need to do something fun today, guys. So I will be constructing the 20 gallon. I'll be setting it up with the, where's the rhizomat? It's in there. I let it soak for two days. This is a rhizomat where the roots ideally can grow into. It's gonna go under the substrate. And we're gonna deconstruct this tank, which means first I'm gonna have to fish out all of the other guys. I'm gonna have to fish you out and set up a temporary tank so you guys can be in there. <sighs> then drain the water. Once I drain the water, ideally into a bucket and other stuff, then I'm gonna have to take the plants out into the other tank that I prepared with the substrate down there and then move it over, fill it with water, set it up and hope for the best. Here we go, this is the freshly planted 20 gallon long and as you can see there's plenty of space available. Beta loves it. 
needle as I call him. And yeah, I got my uh, air stone, I got a round air stone in the middle that just, you know, aerates the water a little bit, which is not a bad idea if you're doing CO2, the bubble ladder being here in the background, here's a drop checker to make sure. Snail is on expedition course, not gonna find any algae in the glass just yet. So we're gonna have to make sure to throw some wafers in. And yeah, here's the big Anubius, and I hope that the cardinal plant here will grow in nicely, offering like a little uh, area to hide in and still have this open space in the middle. It looks really cool, especially at night when the moonlight is on. Just for size comparison, this is the 10 gallon and this is the 20 gallon long. Uh, they're fairly same height, but they are deeper and longer, obviously. Down there is the remains of the 10 gallon. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that. Probably another tank, probably another tank. Hi, little guy, aren't you cute? He's so small. He's so cute. He was the run to the litter. So Aw, the smallest one. He's definitely the, um, the lady said that all of his siblings were like twice his size. Wow. And he's still teeny tiny. This is our this is our new mousy. Yes. Arno died sadly, and um, I got this little guy from a from a rat rescue actually that had a little litter of mousies. Aw, adorable. And this is the little runt of the litter. <laughs> is that gonna be his name? Runt? No. <laughs> I'll come up with something. I don't know yet, but he really is a cutie. He's probably gonna find a way to escape my cage. Probably. Because Arno was like three times his size. No. Arno was big. Arno was this, round. This guy is teeny tiny. Teeny tiny little mousy. <laughs> so small. So it happened a few days uh, since the last vlog. I'm, I'm, I'm terribly, terribly lazy. Again, welcome to Lazy Weasel. Yes, I know Wheatley. Uh, yeah, what have I been up to? Well, I've been writing on my uh, NaNoWriMo uh, novel. I'm at, what, like 30,000 words, so I still have 20,000 words for the rest of November to go, and that's gonna, that's, that's, that's tricky by itself. That's, I don't even know, I, I got the rest of the story laid out, but I have no idea if that's gonna be 20,000 words and what I'm gonna do after that. But yeah, I gotta go there first. Um, I built a thing for Wheatley yesterday. Total, total, that great segue, great segue. Um, I would I would hold the camera sideways, but that clearly wouldn't work, so I'm gonna have to just step back. Here, Wheatley, how, how do you like your new perch? How do you like your uh, your wooden perch? I, I think it's pretty cool. Now he can annoy me and peck my eyes out while I'm at the computer, so that's great. Um, other than that, yes, good, good job, you pooped. Uh, other than that, this tank's been doing okay so far, nothing too crazy. As you can see, I have, um, <laughs> this is what I cleaned off like two days ago. This is what I haven't cleaned yet. So this is the algae that's set off. That's pretty normal, I think, in the beginning that you have a little bit of an algae bloom, given that um, you have all these nutrients in the fresh soil. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty normal. Even the, even the turtle tank in the back there has like a layer of uh, algae on there. But yeah, the snail gets too much on that. Uh, this tank so far, I cut down a lot of plants. Currently it's a little bit agitated on the surface because I poured a lot of water in, did a water change. Uh, but the shrimp seem to be doing fine. I don't see that many, but they're definitely there. Here's one of the orange ones. Hi, buddy. Uh, this tank, I also took a few plants out. It's mostly green now. I put some Ludwigia in there. There's one, there's one in the back. They're gonna grow out again hopefully fairly soon. Uh, but yeah, I took a bunch of Ludwigia out because it just got so crowded in there. The fish had a hard time swimming around. So now they have more room. Most of them are hiding. There's like 10 fish in there. Right now you can see two, three maybe. They're like in the back behind all of that. So yeah. Other than that, I've been playing Beholder. You guys enjoyed that. And I've been playing The Room of Lorne. It's a lot of fun and I would love to do more series with her. I think I'm gonna be playing The Room 2 after we finish one. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the game. People, got, Some people got really upset as per usual that we weren't perfect when it comes to that. Yeah, we didn't solve the game in 30 minutes rushing through it. We took our time. So, hey Wheatley, you wanna come here? Wheatley. Huh. Sidekick. Uh, I also shaved my head. Nice, nice clean shave. I mean, short shave, not clean obviously. I just like it, it's just really problematic in the winter right now because my head gets cold. It's, it's, it's an odd problem. I like my hair short, but then the cold, the cold 
yeah, that's 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 the current status. I I don't think I have anything else. You've seen the mouse. Been still sneezy. Oh yeah, people have also been asking when I'm gonna do face cam again in videos. I currently have no immediate plans to um, do that again. Uh, anytime soon at least. I still have the camera set up there in the back. Where is it? There, there it is. There's the camera. But I took the lights down and I just have these ones, which are not really, I mean, those are the same lights, but they're not really good without the diffusers. They're just awfully, awfully bright. So I'm gonna have to see when to do that. I think for now, I'm not gonna bother too much with it because I'm having a lot of fun. And uh, games like, let's say, Behold, it doesn't necessarily need a face cam. I think anything with strategy doesn't really need that. Look at all these pin feathers you got. You got pin feathers out the wazoo. You're not gonna let me preen them. No, 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 don't, don't bite my finger, please. And anyway, you still upset from yesterday when I preened your nails. Mmm, scritches. Mmm, scritches. I could not resist getting all of these. Yay! I usually don't do any Christmas decoration at all. I just like light chains. I just, you know, they, they, they're kind of nice. They create a nice ambient light and yeah, that's, that's kind of neat. So that's what I did. Sadly, these are different than these. Why LEDs? They, they, they look like they're flickering in the camera. <laughs> Must be a different frequency. God, that looks chaotic. That does not look relaxing at all. Oh, God. Welcome to a late night unboxing on Lazy Weasel. I want snacks and Munchpack sent me a box. So let's open it up and see what they have inside this month. This is gonna be horrible footage. Oh, damn it, it doesn't fit. There you go, all right. Hola, adventurous eater. This munch pack was made with lots of love by Kim. Hola, and the Eiffel Tower. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway. What the freak? Cajun dill gator taters. That sounds so unbelievably weird. This looks like, um, yeah, it's like a pizza snack. Huh, looks, looks quite chaotic. But uh, yeah, oh, it's 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 pizza puff balls. Cool. What's 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 this? It's um cookies with cream. Oh, that kid freaks me out. That's one creepy looking kid. Ugh. Oh yay! They made another one of these. They sent another one of these. I like those. Yay! Tasty. They are waffles with lemon fillings. Interesting. Oblita. I have no idea what Maroc is, what kind of flavor that is. It's a Cubanito wafer. BB Bear Rice Cake. Gu what? Gumish. Gumish, it's like little Coke bottles. Ooh, Duplo Choconut, yay! Another waffle, yay, a swaffle. I love, I love these waffles, the Strop waffle. I, yeah, Strop waffle. I hope I'm saying that right. And last but not least, what do we have here? <laughs> Family wafers. Delicious crunchy cocoa cream wafers. I like wafers. 